Hi guys, Jeanne Renee Dempsey here doing the do us a flavor challenge. Okay, so um, I was walking through Safeway buying stuff. I was going to have people over. Um, it was just recently my birthday. We we're going to have people over from a barbecue. And I ran into a stand. Um, well, the cashier was taking absolutely forever. Like, I do not know what ha was happening. I knew that she was a trainee or something. So I had plenty of time. Um, let's say, like, I was in line for a half an hour um, waiting to pay for my six, uh, six groceries. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so I had plenty of time in the Isle of Doom. I call the Isle of Doom because it's all the stuff you do not need. Um, anyways, so in front of this Isle of Doom was a stand for the Lay's potato chips, which are all the funky, crazy flavors that um, they want you to try and you vote for your flavor um, that you want to stick around. So it's the Do Us a Flavor Challenge. Sorry, my neighbor is still at it uh, with some kind of saw or something. I don't know what's going on. So if you hear that, that's what that is, but it's still so hot in my house. It's been hot all summer and uh, I'm not closing the door. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So anyways, um, these are the chips and I'll show you these crazy, crazy flavors. Um, I am actually scared of these, all of these flavors because I am such a plain chip kind of person. I like hickory sticks, um, and just plain Lay's, uh, potato chips, even like the, the less salt blue bag. That's my absolute favorite of life. So anyways, yeah, these flavors really scare me. I do not like thing, chips that are flavored like this. So this will be interesting. I have um, my glass of water that AKA uh, vodka soda <laughs> to wash it down. Um, yeah, I'm not even joking. That's really got vodka in there. Anyway, so the first flavor, butter chicken. I live in a predominantly Indian neighborhood and um, I love butter chicken. So I have high, high expectations and high hopes for this. Um, I also have the Montreal smoked meat. Oh, these are the, this is the Canadian edition, I believe as well. Um, I'm gonna go run down to the, uh, over the border in the next couple of weeks and just see if that they still have the other one. So hopefully I do an American version of this. I know that they had different flavors, but this is the Montreal smoked meat. So that is a smoked meat sandwich um, in Canada. We are obsessed with these things. Um, let me know if you've tried a Montreal smoked meat sandwich and if you like it, thumbs up if you like those. All right, so this is the PEI scallop potato, which PEI is Prince Edward Island scallop potatoes. I didn't even know that Prince Edward Island was known for scallop potatoes. Are they, or are they making this up? Anyways, it says where they're finalists anyways. It's like the Atlantic Canada finalist. So um, I guess they do love scalloped potatoes in Atlanta, Canada. Um, and then Western Canada finalists, which I live in the Western Canada, cowboy barbecue beans. Think in Calgary, uh, there's cowboys there, right? So people think, well, I guess that's Western Canada, but I also do not know for being known for baked beans. So let's try this first, just because it is in wind, uh, Western Canada, just need a little sip to uh, cleanse my palate here and let's get going. All right. Oh, okay. So straight off the bat, they smell exactly like baked beans. Like, holy cannoli, they smell exactly like baked beans. So that's what it looks like in the inside of the bag. And that's what it looks like. I love rippled chips like this. So I can't even get over how, how do they do that? Oh. They must have some crazy scientists to make it smell like that. So here we go. I have a hair in my mouth. That's hot. You just taste exactly like baked beans. That's crazy. And they're hella good. Cowboy baked beans. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, those are pretty amazing. All right. So that is going to be a tough act to follow. That is like exactly what that is. So on to the Ontario finalist, and that is butter chicken. Oh. Oh wow, this smells like when you walk into an Indian restaurant or an Indian store. I don't know if it necessarily smells like butter chicken, but it definitely smells good and it smells Indian. So that's what that chip looks like. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. Oh my goodness. Those are so good. Mm. I don't see why this is a finalist because it doesn't taste necessarily like butter chicken, but it has an Indian flavor that is so, so good. Oh, I'm obsessed with those. Okay, I don't even know which one I like better between the two, but they are so exactly what they're supposed to be that like I'm overly impressed. Um, all right, sorry for that noise again if you hear that. Next is the PEI scallop potatoes. So far, none of those have been scary. Those are like actually the two flavors I was most afraid of, but I love them. Okay. Okay, I don't like the smell of these at all. Oh God. Those smell really bad. Um, that's what it looks like. That's what they look like in the bag. They don't smell like cheese in any way or potatoes. They don't taste like cheese either. I'm just gonna put those over there. Generally, when I don't know if I like something, I can't eat them. I think those taste like a nothingness. It, it tastes onion. That's what I'm tasting is onion. I guess in scalloped potatoes, it is oniony. It doesn't taste anything like a potato or it doesn't taste like anything with cheese. So I'm just not feeling those ones. They're not necessarily bad, but I just don't not like them. Mm. Oh, Woo! that was a lot of vodka. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so lastly, yeah, I do not like that last flavor. So far, I think the baked bean is my favorite flavor. Um, oh, it's a toss up. Anyways, on to the last, which is the Montreal smoked meat. Okay, for us Canadians, you cannot mess up a Montreal smoked meat. Um, yeah, because we take that very seriously. So let me just give this a whirl. I feel like this one's going to smell bad. Yep, smells hella bad, but that just means it's proper. Because smoked meat does not smell good. All right, so that's what the chip looks like. That's what the inside of the bag looks like. It's got like little flecks on it. Okay, I feel I'll need a couple of these. You really get the smoky flavor out of these chips. I don't want to eat that one. That would be too hard to eat. They're bad. That's bad. Oh, okay. Definitely smells like smoked meat. It just tastes like smoke and then a sourness, which you do get a sourness when you eat smoked meat, but, or Montreal smoked meat anyway, but that's bad. I would never eat that chip ever again. Um, okay, so, oh, yuck. Oh, okay, so I think um, my favorite so far, okay, these ones were weird for me. This one doesn't taste or smell or anything what it's supposed to be, so, but it's not a bad flavor. This one, it smells exactly how it's supposed to smell. Kind of has that aftertaste of a smoked meat sandwich, but it's too smoky, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, as a chip, it's just not my favorite. This is like a flavor that is just like not good, doesn't sit well with me. I do not like that. Um, this just smells so wonderful that I can't help but want to eat them. Mm. So delicious. I love butter chicken. So mm. that's a good flavor. I do like that. But for me, the clear winner was this one. This smells exactly like baked beans. I can see why Western Canada loves it. So go Western Canada. You guys picked a great flavor. Um, so yeah, I think I really like these and uh, let me know which ones you've tried and which ones you like. 
and tell me which ones were a fail for you guys because these ones definitely um, did not fail these, this test. Um, so I think this is the clear winner. So let me know what you think. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. I really need to like brush my teeth or something. I All these flavors are really, really yucky to me combined. So I wanted to get off this video and let me know what you think. Thumbs up if you've done this challenge and if you love potato chips. All right, bye guys.